Halo 2 PC flight date has officially been announced and we also have an MCC playlist update to go through as well. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again give you another news informational video. If you enjoy these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button to let me know you want to see some more content like this. So let's get right into the video here. So let's get through the content I'm sure you guys are all here for. The Halo 2 Anniversary Playlist PC Flight Awesomeness that's coming for us, well, frankly, today. Yes, at the time of this video being posted, the flight is going to start today on Friday, April 17th. We're going to be able to play Halo, Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary on PC. I did post a notification on my channel here, guys. So if you're subscribed, you probably got that notification as soon as it happened. So I get the chance to talk to you guys now in an official video. Postum states on this tweet saying, PSA, all Ring 3 blockers have been resolved at this time for Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary. Flighting to begin on Friday, April 17th. We will let folks know when buttons are being pressed for invites to roll out. Stay tuned to get tactical marines. Hoorah! So if you guys remember, the invite system kind of gets rolled out for those invites. They don't just all go out once. Trust me, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you'll know exactly when these rollouts are happening. As for emails, they can't send them all at once. I'm sure they get detected as spam or mass spam, and so then they can't send them out like that. They have to do it in waves. So that day, I'm sure we'll probably see a few you know waves of invites coming in now. So make sure you stay tuned to your emails. Now, when it comes to invites, they've changed up that system a bit so let's give you the details right here so what will happen is you'll receive an email to let you get a notification letting you know that you have been invited to the flight fantastic news same kind of process we've had before but the thing is now all the pertinent information that you need is going to be on halo waypoint which i'm sure will be linked in your email to go check out so make sure your halo waypoint information is up to date you know where to look and how to access the website just fine on the website you should be able to find your steam link or your microsoft store access code as well to be able to download the flight and get a chance to jump in and play some halo 2 pc just a little friendly reminder for the content that's going to be in this flight we're going to have some campaign missions we're going to have some multiplayer for two 4v4 and 8v8 on top of that we're going to have a feature of theater mode on pc for halo 2 anniversary and we're going to test out the new challenge system as well and i will add new customization for this game now definitely will break it down in multiple videos for you guys so stay tuned subscribe to the channel to keep yourselves up to date so for the campaign side of things for the flight we'll be seeing for halo 2 and halo 2 anniversary we'll have the missions of cairo station metropolis the oracle delta halo quarantine zone and grave mind for multiplayer like i said we'll have two of 2, 4v4, and 8v8 for social games. We'll have Halo 2 Hardcore for competitive, and the Halo 2 maps we'll have will be Lockout, Midship, Beaver Creek, Burial Mounds, Coagulation, Headlong, Waterworks, Containment, Sanctuary, and Turf to top that off. And then for Halo 2 Anniversary, we have Lockdown, Zenith, Stonetown, Bloodline, and Shrine. Now the day of watching this, if I'm invited, I definitely will be streaming this on my Twitch channel, so link will be in the description down below to my Twitch channel. I'll be streaming the PC experience of Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary for you guys to check out if you happen to not get invited or just don't have the time to play at that moment but have the time to watch while well, i'll be on twitch so make sure you follow me down there in the description below so now we got through our desserts and main course of what is going to be here for us guys on this video we also got, got a little bit of an mcc playlist update on the 16th which you guys never realized as now we have shoddy snipers in for griff ball in the rotated featured category shoddy snipers will be available in 4v4 and eight player free-for-all and keep in mind that global double xp is currently active until april 29th so if you're still grinding out your one through 100 tiers definitely need to do that right now if you want to try to get top of decks i have a feeling we're going to get a new season when it comes to halo 2 being released on pc given that they've implemented the challenge system which is going to give you more chances to gain xp and seasonal points and external rewards on top of that and also we recently got a post on waypoint that's currently closed now by getting feedback for new nameplates that people would like to see as well so that gives me a good indication that we'll probably 
see a new season with this. If we do, I would definitely will make some more content for you guys to go check out as well. I got a chance to jump into a little bit of the Shiny Snipers playlist on MCC and when it was dropped, and it gets actually pretty fun. It's a great way to get your mouse and keyboard kind of handling down, which I like to play on PC, because uh, sniping and shotgunning are two different very feels, and playing without aim assist, especially with those two weapons, feels very different, that's for sure. Uh, I used to be pretty bad on the shotgun and snipes, but after playing this place a couple times, I'm starting to feel much more confident in my shot. Uh, definitely be able to pull off some no scopes a lot easier with the sniper rifle. It's really fun to try out. Uh, again, so on PC, you'll be able to do that with uh, Halo Reach and Halo CE. And of course, if you're playing on console, well, you got the entire suite of the MCC multiplayer to play that. Though I would say it's not the best for XP because there's not a whole lot of teamwork stuff that happens because it's a Slayer variation that you'll be playing. So not a whole lot of objectives right there to get more teamwork medals to get your guys some more XP while this double XP stuff is happening. So honestly, I would really suggest probably playing like 4v4 objective modes is probably the best way to get your XP out there. So I'm just letting you guys know. But of course, playing Charlie Snipes is pretty dang fun. So you gotta balance it out between the two. So yeah, guys, get excited. Get hyped. We have Halo 2 PC experience to play for us, guys. I will make uh, some more content for you guys, telling you everything that's going to be involved with this flight so you can get a chance to see what we're talking about here. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep yourself updated with all the Halo news you'll ever need to know, guys. If you have any questions you would like, or any kind of stuff you would like to see, that the content that's going to be in the flight, leave it in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel or miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen over here. Got a link to all my other updates if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.